Manchester known for his cheese fueled adventures with Wallace, but now Gromit is going solo. Yeah, 60 giant models of the famous canine character will be sent to artists around the world to decorate with their own designs. The statues will go on display around Bristol next year before being auctioned off for charity. I'd like to have one of those. They're nice. <laughs> Aren't they? Are those the main stories this morning? Coming up on the programme. Do you remember these colourful characters? First, there were the lions in Bath, which were auctioned off to raise money for the Lord Mayor's Relief Fund and children's charity Off the Record. Bristol then followed suit with the amazing gorillas, which were placed all over the city before being sold for thousands to help the children's hospital and fund conservation work by Bristol Zoo. Then who can forget the pigs? They were again in Bath. Then the donkeys in Western Supermare. All the swans that were in Wells. Well, now there's another cracking idea. They're grommets, which are going to be scattered right across Bristol. Gorgeous. And here's Imogen Sellers. I can't think of many triple Oscar winning movie stars that I could hold in the palm of my hand, but now Aardman Animation's Gromit has got big, very big. Yes, a total of 60 giant grommets are to be unleashed onto the streets of Bristol. Like the gorillas before them, each sculpture will be decorated by leading artists and designers from all over the world. Gromit's creator Nick Parks will of course get to decorate one himself, although he said walking into a room full of the giant-sized canines was a scary experience. It's kind of surreal a bit for me because, uh, you know, he's, he's this little five-inch model here that uh, I created as a student, a student really, um, as a character. Uh, so to see him this big, uh, and yeah, and, and uh, it's hard. I, I've got to do one myself, I've got to paint one, so, and what to do is uh, a bit of a challenge. The idea behind the project is to raise money for the Bristol Children's Hospital. We're incredibly excited about it. It's been a long time in the making and we just hope that people are as thrilled as we are about the prospect of Gromit becoming unleashed all across of Bristol. Such is the appeal the organisers hope Gromit Unleashed will encourage visitors from all over the world to come to Bristol. A grand trail of grommets will take to the streets of Bristol next summer. They'll all be sponsored by local businesses and then they'll go up for auction to raise money for Wallace and Gromit's grand appeal. So what exactly will this money be spent on? I've been finding out. Meet seven-year-old Guy Watts. He suffers from an autoimmune disease. This is his second time in the Bristol Children's Hospital. Two years ago, he spent four months here. This time, he's been here nearly a month. What are the nurses and doctors here like? Are they, are they nice? Yeah. They look after you. So if you had to explain to a, a little boy of your age what it like, what's it like being in hospital, what would you say? What do you say to your friends? I'm sure it's quite like living in a flat a hotel. <laughs> do you get looked after very well? Yeah. All the money raised by the project will pay for new equipment and facilities and ultimately help children like Guy and his family. As Wallace would say, all round a cracking idea. Imogen Sellers, BBC Points West, in Bristol. And the grommet that we've got here in the studio has been very good. Hardly a peep out of him all through the programme.